So in Sonic the Hedgehog, you're a hedgehog named Sonic. How do you feel about Sonic 1, Tucker? I think it's very good. Think it's very good? Yes. I think it's not very good. Okay. I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog is false sense of security the game. Why? What does that mean? It First means, of all, screw you, but what does that mean? I feel like I've been spoiled. There are games where you can get through on the first try because okay. of mastery of the mechanics instead of okay. rote memorization and trial and error. In Sonic the Hedgehog, after the first level, after the first three, is not that okay. game. First three as in... As in Green Hill Zone. It sees a huge know, difficulty spike. It doesn't feel right. It feels slow. <laughs> it feels not very good. I, you kill guys, I guess. The bosses are all pretty... <laughs> you kill guys. The it's bosses true. are all pretty decent. The music no, they're not. is good at worst. <laughs> it's good or great. This is like... The music is good at worst. Okay, I can deal with that. Okay. Here's where you're wrong. Though. Okay, enlighten me. Okay, think back to 91 and like every platformer was like, jump on the square platform, Yep. jump on the bad guy, go to the thing, go to the right. And then you come out with Sonic and it's like, go to the left sometimes. Yeah. Or do a loop de loop you know? Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain. Yeah, the joy I feel when I play these games is not easy to yeah. bottle, you know? I wasn't really you know. feeling that joy with this one. No, I wasn't. You were because when you were in Labyrinth Zone, it was hard. It was so hard, but you fought through it, and you would got to the boss, and you beat him, sort of. He just kind of flies away, but then, but then, mm -hmm. it, the game, it saw you in the dirt, and it <laughs> extended its hand, Yeah, and it said... Here's star whatever zone, mm -hmm. and the music goes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, 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 it's like a Rice Star song. It is, and it's easier, and you're just kind of flying through this like city on this highway, and things are going good. Mm -hmm. Christian. Yeah. Don't you have a soul, Christian? I can see how this, at least compared to your prototypical Mario. The levels are much less linear. Instead of left and right and maybe one alternate path, you've maybe got like six or seven branches that you can get through in order to get all the way to the end. And I feel right. like what the game wants you to do or the path of least resistance, as far as enemies are concerned, is you want to try and stay in the top right. And you want to try and right. stay up as high as you can while right. going right. If you fail up top, you end up in the middle. Yeah. And then if you fail there, you end up in the bottom. Yeah. And you don't want to be at the bottom. That's where the water is. That's where you get the bad water music. No, it's so good. It's it's too stressful. It's too it's, stressful. That's the point, dude. And then, like, yeah. the music has, like, that cue yeah. where, like, halfway through when you're underwater, it starts doing, like, the breath out music, but only for, like, one note. Like, two notes where it's, like, doo doo. And then it's like, oh, and it reminds you, it reminds you that death is imminent. And then you get to the bubbles and it doesn't shoot out the big bubble you need, even though the timer is at two and then you die. That's it's not great, but it's stressful. Yeah. Yeah, it's stressful. They do a good job of that. I can, I can give them that much. I feel like Green Hill Zone is like the ideal version of this Sonic game. You can actually go fast because there aren't like these random spikes everywhere, there aren't these death traps everywhere, there aren't these constant springs sending you backwards into a spike trap. So I love them. I hate those. It's such a dickish I, thing. To do. It is. There's no like in Mario, think of an equivalent of spring that sends you backwards. Uh, I can't really think of one. I don't know. There like, isn't one. Because <laughs> it's something a like a evil genius would do. Evil genius. Where it's like, okay, here's a game about forward momentum. And then it's like, we'll put bad guys here, but we'll also just put springs that make you go backwards. And then all there is to do is go forwards again. <laughs> knowing that it's there. Okay. Can't you see the beauty in it, Christian? No, I don't see the genius in that. 
that that seems bad to me. It seems yeah. like they should have telegraphed this somehow. I f maybe yeah. it's because the screen real estate is a little limited when you've got yeah, the square. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. And so you can't really render that far in advance what you're going to be running into. It's pulled in pretty close to Sonic, whereas Mario's a little bit drawn back. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Speaking of difficulty, can you just imagine on the playground if you were the kid who showed up on like Tuesday morning in <laughs> class and you were like, hey, I beat Labyrinth Zone, dude. <laughs> you would be a legend. I don't know. They'd be like, yeah, well, I don't believe you. That's too hard. <laughs> what is Labyrinth Zone? I drew a Zone? picture of it. <laughs> I feel like this game doesn't have anything that people... It doesn't have the stuff that people deride the series for, but it also doesn't have any of the stuff that people look back fondly mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Because I feel like from two onwards, the levels were like roller coasters. You know, it's like way more about the experience of like blasting through these levels, whereas here it's like still just a platformer, but you move faster. Yeah, exactly. Which is still cool. Yeah. You don't really move that Actually, fast. You do if you're good, which I'm not. I was curious, I was like, so can normal person or can speedrun person go super uh -huh. fast in this game because they have all the levels memorized? Right. And so I watched a glitchless run and no, no, they slow down in the same sections that I'm slowing down in because the game just doesn't let you progress because you need to get past these obstacles within a certain cycle, like a rope platform. Yeah. Are you talking, like, what do you mean? Like, are you talking like, oh, I'm underwater and there's, like, things that go in a circle and you Yeah, can't... the underwater physics feel a little, like, really momentum killing. They feel a little off, too, where you jump yeah. and you don't really go anywhere. The example that comes to mind immediately is in the marble zone, I want to say. And there's sections okay. where you have to, like, push things into other things. But it's, it's like a couple. Yeah, but... You gotta I don't push know. the things. <sighs> Can't you see, Christian, the beauty of it? No. The relief you feel when you do no. break the surface. But it's I'm 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 not giving it a lot of credit, but it's pretty decent. <laughs> it's You're just jerk. not very good. It's false sense of security, the platformer. You but got I, spikes that come out of the ground and you don't know how or why or it when. It doesn't matter. And they just come out. That's what the rings are for. And it leads it's you most... to this really tense experience where you're edging across the screen pixel by pixel. No! Trying to check the if there's spikes that are coming or not. The rings are the most genius health system ever designed because you're basically invincible. I felt like Rystar had levels that were more frustrating than anything in this game. I didn't feel that way at all, uh, by my recollection at least. Oh, maybe I'm just biased because the last boss in this game is so not anything, and then the last boss in Rystar was like crazy. Yeah. I felt super let down at the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Unless, if you get like all the Chaos Emeralds, do you get a different boss fight? No. You, you know? get the same boss no. fight, you just get to be invincible for it, I believe. Oh, that's not very interesting. No. Did you get any Chaos Emeralds? No, because I hated the seizure inducing uh, yes! bonus levels. They are the most insane thing. They're really bad. It's like if the evil genius had the opposite of what an evil genius would be, which would be like, you fall. Yeah, you've got this rotating plane <laughs> on these really ugly, color-saturated backgrounds. No. Very cool looking with birds and fish and such. <laughs> well, it's so random. And then it's just kind of yeah, it's like it's like tilting, but not really. Yeah. And then you can kind of jump, but only sometimes. Yeah. Like sometimes it doesn't you feel it you right. Jump. It feels bad. You don't. <laughs> the game doesn't tell you at all what you're supposed to be doing. It just says bonus stage. And then I yeah. find out that oh, there's chaos emeralds here, but I didn't care. I just wanted to get to the end section so I can get the heck out of there. They don't explain how to get there at all. No. I like, I think getting the rings to get to the end to get the bonus stage is way better than like in Sonic Mania where it's like hidden. Yeah. Because it creates this like self challenge of needing to not get hit. Mm hmm. Where in Sonic Mania, if you just know where it is, then you just go there. Yeah. Do the thing. Yeah. But it can also lead to this thing where you get to a checkpoint and you're like, oh, don't have enough rings. I'm going to go back now. 
<laughs> no, I didn't. This game is not meant to be completed. This game is not meant okay. to be finished. That's you. true. I mean, as a kid, I never beat this game. No. Never even got close. No. Never ever. Do you think it loses something in beating it? Maybe. Yeah, that's, that's definitely possible because as a kid, the Sonic games are the games that you can just pop in and go back to basically forever yeah. because you can never get to the end. Yeah. Well, they always put the best level up front, so yeah. it's like, oh, I just want to enjoy myself. Yeah. And then when it gets hard, you just stop. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess so. I guess there is some merit to that. Because, oh my god, Christian, when you when you press the button, mm -hmm. press the button, and it goes, Sega! It's like, oh. And then Sonic is there, like, freaking out and thumbing up at you. Yeah. And then you hit start. And, like, the title screen is crazy because it lasts, like, five seconds. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do anything in, like, five seconds, I'll, it just starts playing Green Hill Zone. Yep. Because <laughs> it's like, I know why you're here. <laughs> but if you do press something, there's no options. Yep. Press a button, there Green Hill Zone starts playing. Yep. They knew! I guess so. They knew what they were doing. Here's my... Okay, here's my argument. Mm -hmm. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 21. Imagine for a moment that this game is not for you or I. <laughs> this game is for a seven-year-old kid mm -hmm. in 1991 who brings home the most mind-bending experience of his life. Why would it be mind-bending? It was, dude! As a kid, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I love it! I love the... The thing that always stood out to me as a kid was the way that the environments were, like, natural, but also completely, like, constructed. Okay. You know what I mean? Where, like, the flowers are all super angular, mm -hmm. and they don't look like flowers, and it's just got this really weird vibe to it. Yeah. It's got as this, a kid, this game blew my mind. It's got this thing of... This theme of nature and machine, machine yeah. future technology. But this game uses blast processing, which is future technology. But it also has a hedgehog, which is not. I'm having a hard time. I'm having yeah. a hard time letting you sell me on this one, man. Yeah. And I want to be clear. I am only playing this up a little bit. <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I do think this is a really cool game. Okay. I understand that the two and three are better games. Yeah. Two is going to be understand. a different story, I feel like, and I'm scared oh. that some of it might be because I grew up with Sonic 2. I also think two is much better, if that's what you're worried about. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. This, I'm bringing up the list because I'm worried yeah, about this. I feel like it's better than Star Fox Adventures. I don't know if it's better than Vanquish or not. Better than Star Fox Adventures, yes. Yes? Yes, I think it is okay. better than Star Fox Adventures. Okay, is it better than Valkyria Chronicles? No. Yeah, yeah? Oh, okay. I don't think so at all. Better than Rystar? You're going no. the wrong way, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think this is up there? No. That high? Are you, if I had to personally rank this, I would put it between Company of Heroes and Metroid okay. Prime, probably. Okay. That's close to my my breaking point. I understand that it will be lower. Okay. Can that. you do between Metroid Prime and Resident Evil? Let's take it in the middle. Average it out. Where does Fable 2 hash out on that? Uh, mm, I could do Metroid Prime and Fable 2 between those two. Mm, I feel like, in all honesty, this probably belongs between Resident Evil and Vanquish. Really? I don't know. Did you like Resident Evil or Sonic more? Resident Evil? <laughs> Did you like Vanquish or Sonic more? Probably Sonic. Okay. So, for you, wouldn't it go right there, then? Yeah, for me, it would probably go there. But for you, mm. you really like this one. I liked it. I liked it more than Resident Evil. You liked it more than Resident Evil? Okay. But probably about on par with Fable 2. About on par with Fable 2. I'm okay with sticking it between Resident Evil and Fable 2. Okay. That's okay with me. I can live with that. Okay. 